The sage grouse is a is it's a ground dwelling bird. The most spectacular part of the life cycle is the mating dance, and, and during the mating season, the males display this absolutely beautiful plumage and strut around to try to attract the female sage grouse. It's a beautiful, incredible spectacle, frankly, of nature that, that happens in the spring months, in the early mornings. The sagebrush country is, is one of the lesser known ecosystems, in part because it's very remote, lying between the Rocky Mountains and the Cascades, in a part of the country that is not as visited as other parts of the country. The importance of sage grouse to, to hunting in the West is as an indicator species that, that kind of defines the health of the overall ecosystem. Without healthy sage grouse and the habitat that it resides within, we won't have healthy herds of, of mule deer and elk and pronghorn antelope and, and hundreds of other species that rely on that ecosystem. So it really does define the health of the environment. We find uh, various sorts of man-made changes to the environment, providing challenges for sage grouse, oil and gas development, wind power development, roads, and so forth. So all of these things are coming together and have come together over the last 15 or 20 years in almost a, a perfect storm for the sage grouse to deal with. It's important to maintain the habitat that we have left in order to move forward with our hunting heritage and, and culture. It's just not about the bird, it's about the other herds that are connected with it, the other wildlife that's within the ecosystem. Engaging in a science-based manner in our conservation decisions is vital. It's going to be vital to the species we work with. It's absolutely vital to our species. We have to pay attention. We have to accept science when it arrives. It removes our ability to be in denial and puts us in a position of making conservation management decisions. There's a lot of economic research that details the connection between environmental quality and things like recreation and economic well-being. The lands, as it turns out, are important resources for a lot of people. We found that there were over 13 million visits to sagebrush lands in the West in the year 2013, and those visits generated over $600 million in spending in the local communities near the sagebrush lands. And then that spending circulated through the economy and resulted in over a billion dollars in economic output across the country. The Bureau of Land Management is involved in a planning process right now. The agency issued draft plans at the end of 2013. Those plans really did not meet with the best available science, but what the agency has done in the subsequent year and a half has really put together a series of much stronger management plans. These RMPs, resource management plans, have a life of 15 to 20 years. So we want to have the right decisions made and the right rules laid out when these RMPs come into play. Recognizing that this is a place where we really have to do multi-use management and be assured of sustained yield, and that doesn't just mean drilling all the wells you can or having all the birds you can. It means reaching a balance. We think that there's a way to protect the sage grouse and allow for continued economic development across the West. We're working with the administration to try to bring these plans to completion because by doing that, we can ensure uh, continued survival of the sage grouse, continued productivity of the sagebrush habitat. Uh, and that's important because these lands are, are owned in trust by all Americans and we all have an equal say in how they should be managed and protected.